Get ready to be amazed by these 10 guns that pack a serious punch. From powerful rifles to explosive shotguns, these firearms will leave you in awe with their infernal backlash. Watch as we count down through these weapons that will literally blow you away. Don't miss out on this thrilling showcase of firepower. Fire Collision Exploding Head There is a beautiful magic in the recoil produced by firearms, and this is closely linked to the ammunition. The amount of gunpowder in the ammunition, the structure of the weapon used, the technical systems and mechanisms of the weapon that retain or expel the force generated by the detonation, the position of the shooter, the strength of the shooter, and many other complex ballistic characteristics, which we won't delve into in this video. I wanted to vary the category of the weapons. That's why I didn't just include giant high-caliber rifles, but also quite a variety. An important point to mention is the muzzle brake, an accessory that most high-powered rifles and even some pistols have, which is the magic accessory as it immensely reduces the recoil power. Without this accessory, shooting a .50 PM like a Barrett would be a nightmare. Sit back and get ready to listen to a dose of heavy metal and unleash monstrous forces that do justice to their size. Few have been able to masterfully control a powerful Smith & Wesson .500 revolver, a weapon with much greater power than several rifles and described by experts as having beastly recoil. This is not a weapon for first-time shooters unless they want to leave firearms forever. In 2003, Smith & Wesson gunsmiths and engineers wanted to offer maximum power in a handgun, basically producing the most powerful revolver in the world. Thus, the Model 500 was born, a double-action, large-caliber, five-shot revolver. It is made with Smith & Wesson's largest frame, the X, developed because none of Smith & Wesson's existing frames could withstand the speed and pressures generated by the .500S and W Magnum cartridge they would have been destroyed immediately. Even knowing the recoil would be demonic, Smith & Wesson was able to reduce it by lowering the total weight, adding better grips, improving front balance, and adding first-class compensators. But even with these improvements, the revolver's recoil is still substantial, although manageable for experts. The only regret in shooting the Smith & Wesson 500 is knowing that each missed shot is a $2.50 round on the ground. But great fun isn't cheap, and the big Magnum Smith & Wesson 500 revolver is pure fun. The RT-20 is a Croatian anti-tank and sniper rifle designed by the company Metallic in Rijeka in the mid-1990s. It was conceived with the goal of destroying the thermobaric mines of Serbian M84 and T-72 tanks using the powerful 20 x 110 mm cartridge. This rifle was also designed for destroying machine gun nests, sniper positions, engaging unarmored or lightly armored vehicles, etc. An RT-20 shot generates 46,962 joules of energy, in other words, it can penetrate the armor of any modern armored vehicle at a distance of 800 meters, and consequently, it has quite violent recoil. A unique feature of this weapon is its recoil-less tube located above the barrel, this tube directs part of the firing gases backward, similar to a recoil-less cannon or rocket launcher. But even so, we're talking about a weapon that delivers a very good kick. The Zaliska .600 Nitro Express Revolver is an Austrian single-action revolver produced by the Pfeiffer Arms Company. It weighs 6 kilograms and is 55 centimeters long. The Zaliska is one of the most powerful handguns in the world producing muzzle energy of 10,292 joules. The recoil was too severe to be regularly tolerated, although its weight helped compensate a bit. This revolver's capacity is 5.600 nitro or .458 wind mag rounds. This revolver requires two hands to use, and firing it incorrectly would almost certainly break your hand or wrist. Stuart Cloud, a sniper officer of the King's Yorkshire Light Infantry, stated that during the war, they used the .600 Nitro Express ammunition in rifles, but they had to fire it standing or kneeling because a shooter broke his collarbone firing it while lying down. This revolver is rare, it's estimated that only 100 exist in the world and costs $18,000. Additionally, each .600 Nitro Express cartridge costs about $40, making this weapon very expensive to shoot. The Mauser 1918T Gewehr was the world's first anti-tank rifle, specifically designed to destroy armored vehicles, and the only such rifle used in World War I. The main reason for creating this rifle was the appearance of British Mark IV tanks, 
as it was discovered that the anti-armor cave bullet was ineffective against them. As its name suggests, the Mauser 1918 Tigavere was created in January 1918, and the first batches were supplied to specially created anti-tank detachments. It's known that approximately 15,800 rifles were produced in history. The Mauser 1918 Tigavere was a single-shot bolt-action rifle, whose 13.2x92mm SR tough armor-piercing cartridges were manually loaded into the chamber. It had a pistol grip and bipod that lacked any mechanism to reduce recoil, such as a padded stock or muzzle brake. This caused problems for shooters with repeated shots. After firing, they practically had to re-aim because it completely derailed the shooter's sight from the scope. Currently, there are specimens of the T. Gewehr in several museums. The Tri-Patriot Thunder is a breech-loading pistol, meaning a single-shot weapon designed to fire the .50 BMG cartridge. Yes, the same one fired by a powerful Barrett M107 sniper rifle. Even this curious and exaggeratedly powerful pistol was developed by Triple Action LLC. This wasn't a firearms company, it was more or less a proof of concept for the impact absorption system that Triple Action had created, something like to draw attention, as it was presented at the SHOT Show 2004 in Las Vegas, Nevada, the world's largest arms expo. The Thunder.50 BMG was invented by gunsmith Leon Lakatos. With its over 6 kilos, the Thunder pistol is truly something few could have imagined because if this pistol were really a hunting weapon, it would be ideal for taking down rhinos. Few would be willing to fire a weapon like this, as letting loose a .50 BMG round in front of your face with nothing more than a piece of steel between you and the cartridge could not only break your wrists but also your skull. There's very little material about this weapon, but here's one of the few videos of the gun being fired. Clearly, this list had to include hunting weapons, and the Holland & Holland .700 Nitro Express shotgun is not only one of the most powerful but also one of the most luxurious that exist. Only super millionaires can afford to hold a Holland & Holland weapon, considered the most prestigious armory in the world and well known for the beautiful artistic engravings of animals they put on their weapons. It doesn't have a specific name, but it is presumed that the double-barreled Holland and Holland .700 Nitro Express shotgun can stop an elephant in its tracks. This ammunition has a recoil force of approximately 216 joules, equivalent to 10 times the kick of a .308 caliber round or almost 4 times the kick produced by the .3006 round of a USM-1 Garand. In the world, there are few people who have fired this weapon, but we are talking about experts with heavy rifles who ensure that this shotgun is uncontrollable. You fire one shot and find the stock at your hip and the barrels pointing at the sky. Currently, a .700 Nitro Express Holland & Holland shotgun is available on order for approximately $250,000. The Type 97 was a Japanese anti-tank rifle adopted in 1937. In the midst of the war, the Imperial Japanese Army needed an effective anti-tank weapon for their soldiers to defend themselves during numerous border clashes with the Red Army along the Manchurian border in the mid-1930s. The Type 97 20mm caliber rifles were specifically designed to destroy light-armored vehicles, machine gun nests, and light fortifications. The choice of caliber was because the design of the 20mm cartridge had enough power to penetrate the armor of the Soviet light tanks of the time, such as the T-26. The first versions of the ammunition were hollow charge with high exit velocity. Its kinetic energy of 32,000 joules is superior to that of a projectile from a small artillery cannon. This rifle used a modified version of the Japanese Arisaka bolt. It also used a pivoting chamber for loading, which was complicated, and its recoil was high. Currently, few of these rifles are in working condition and in private hands. The reason is that they are considered cannons, and their transport and storage are highly regulated. The Barrett M107A1 is the current standard anti-materiel sniper rifle for the United States Armed Forces. It is a lighter and more advanced version of the famous Barrett M82 but retains the legendary power of the .50 BMG caliber. This is a weapon many dream of firing but don't dare to for fear of its recoil, as an incorrect kick could break a shoulder bone. Its recoil action and gas absorption system help mitigate recoil, but it remains a brutal experience. The effective range of the M107A1 is 1.8 kilometers, and its ability to neutralize vehicles and structures makes it an indispensable tool for troops. 
Here's a video where you can see what this beast can do. The Cobray Ladies Home Companion, sometimes called the M11 Ninths Pistol, is one of the strangest pistols that exist. It was designed by the Cobray Company and is based on the Mac 10 submachine gun. What makes it special is that it was designed to fire the 4570 government cartridge, one of the most powerful rifle cartridges. It has a long barrel for a pistol, but the recoil force remains extreme due to the great power of the cartridge. In general, this is a rather rare weapon, and not many exist. The 4570 government cartridge is usually used in big game hunting rifles to take down large animals, so firing it in a pistol is a quite intense experience and, according to reports, not very pleasant for novice shooters. Firearms are a world of technical wonders and astonishing engineering achievements. Some of the weapons on this list are true monsters in terms of recoil and power, representing the pinnacle of extreme weapon design. If you ever have the chance to shoot one of these beasts, be prepared for the kick. We invite you to share your opinion. Leave us your comments and subscribe for more historical analyses. Thank you for following us to the end. If you are new to our channel, subscribe and follow our social networks in the description.